The world, astrologically, is separated into two fundamental energies, active and passive, or historically, feminine and masculine. The masculine signs of fire and air rule action and decision, inertia and becoming, whereas the feminine signs of water and earth rule being, retaining, developing. This makes for a total of six white virtues and six black virtues, each of the six signs of each duality represented. A human is allotted seven classical planets with modern astrologers accepting nine planets that affect the psyche. Thus, a pillar of the individual is formed from several interacting manifestations of the six white, active, and six black, passive, energies. If then, a person's sun and moon are both passive, it can be assumed that the majority of their life will be taken to deconstruction, analytics, theory, education, or something generally introverted like cooking or homemaking. Whereas, if someone is majority active it is likely they show more of an interest in athletics, music, engineering, etc. Constructive, Apollonian pursuits. A double Aquarius like Mozart or Eddie Van Halen are likely to be prodigious and unorthodox musicians, whereas a double Cancer like Charlotte Gainsbourg or Courtney Love is more likely to be known for nymphomania or controversy than building a bridge or writing a symphony. A Libra like Carrie Fisher will say, I love you, to which a double passive like Harrison Ford will say, I know. You will find that people with your sun sign featured prominently in their own chart will have need for you in their life and those that don't might overlook you, not seeing your purpose quite as radiantly. In more subtle ways, this extends to every other planetary position in your chart. The two towers of Wakeem and Boaz in Freemasonry illustrate this duality. The checkered board shows the twin energies of black and white virtues, and the sun-oriented tower illustrates the white energies while the moon tower illustrates the black. As in the Temple of Solomon, whose twin pillars of entrance are that of Wakim and Boaz, so the human soul enters this temple of being through these two monoliths. The monoliths are forever, they will be here when you are gone, and they were here before you. To understand the energies is to understand what and whom you are interacting with, in your short time on earth, and the role you play on the immortal stage. Whatever force, god or aliens or what have you, that determined early culture on this planet knew this duality and the fact that you cannot leave this material prison without understanding this. In the age of Taurus, which would have preceded the age of Aries when Moses became the lawgiver etc., the symbol of the golden calf was the idol of the age. Each age uses some accoutrements of the creature of their associated zodiacal sign, and as we approach the age of Aquarius, it will mean more technology, more groups, more non-gendered transhumanism, etc. The white virtues, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius. All construct something. The Aries has no time for idle chatter because they are busy always, driving from here to there, working hard now so they don't have to later. The Gemini knows a little about everything, has a high level of education, shoots from the hip. The Leo is brash and emboldened, not afraid to speak their mind or sell their brand, themselves, to anyone. The Libra creates spires of wisdom and knowledge from 1,000 previous lifetimes and disseminates tidbits, like autumn leaves falling around you on a reflective stroll. The Sagittarius, smoking a bowl of some kind, tells you of their travels and knows the latest things simultaneously. Aquarius has a remix, a new technological toy, an alternate route that can take us away from the failing norm. The Black Virtues, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces. All deconstruct something. Taurus collects toys or art from great winners of the past, Cancer accumulates people and items on a forest walk, Virgo provides selfless service, Scorpio collects souls through many affairs, Capricorn slays and destroys all in their wake, Pisces dreams atop a floating cloud of confusion and glamour. These things always were. They manifest differently given different shapes and times. This is what the Temple of Solomon stands for as a religious monument, to pass between the two pillars, and know yourself free of their influence. Inside the Temple of Solomon is, of course, the Ark of the Covenant, the very rules for earth as deemed by God or the Elohim or whomever you like most. This is the age of Aquarius, wherein technology, non-duality, humanism, novelty, transhumanistic advancements, and contrarian, anti-authoritarian qualities will reign. You are, in the macrocosmos, living in the transition from the age of Pisces, the passive feminine black virtue of the soul, into the age of Aquarius, the masculine white virtue of the collective. 
What does that mean for the microcosmos of your existence? You can identify each planetary theme for your chart to better understand. Aquarius also rules astrology, so anticipate an incredible spike in the value of this knowledge in the next 50 years. What we can know is that the conceptualizing of one world is something that, 1000 cuts deep, has been on the horizon for many years even before 9-11 the harmonizing of world government against things like wars and tyrants, is something that America is instrumental in. Perhaps, you could count yourself as a lucky soul for being alive for this integration and in this place.